Some called them elements and spoke the truth. Others called them bodies. Others called them an egg. And they were not mistaken. And because of this, the wandering was scattered in the cosmos because of the great number of names. And the foolish people were led astray, unbanished from the truth concerning the four elements and the five. Some then called them bodies and put them opposite one another, just as the Creator placed them. First, they placed Saturn, and opposite him, lit in the topmost heaven. And they have placed after him Jupiter, and opposite him Quicksilver in the second heaven. And after him, they have placed the sun in the middle heaven, and they have placed after him the moon in the farthest heaven each next to each other, just as the craftsman placed them. And each stands apart from the other, and they are yoked together into one wheel. Through one spirit are fond of, and gaze earnestly at one another, and they travel around in each other's company and they leave with each other and they make peace with each other and they move around in their heavens for they are found in the earth and they exist in the air and are in water and fire Each of them is hidden in their own glory. And you, friends, whenever you want to approach this very beautiful art, behold the nature of the plants from where they come. For some come down from the mountains, and some are produced again out of the earth. And others come up from the hollows, and others are brought up from the plains. Behold how you approach them, for you reap them in their own time and their own way, and pick them from the islands of the sea and from the topmost land. And behold ye here serving them, and the food encircling them. Do not damage and do not kill them. Behold the divine water irrigating them and the cloud bearing them and the air driving them and whenever they are united they are one and no one is able to separate them since they were embodied in one being. In you the entire awful and unexpected secret is it. Tell us distinctly and far shiningly about the elements as well. Tell us how the topmost goes down towards the downmost and how the downmost goes up towards the topmost and how the middle goes towards the topmost and the downmost at the portions do not lie away idle from going towards and being united into the middle. And what is the link of the elements to one another? And how the blessed waters go down to visit the corpses that are weakened, constrained and oppressed in gloom and darkness inside Hades? And how the medicine of life comes in and wakes them up so that they awaken from sleep for their possessors 
and how the new waters come in, which in the beginning of the bed and engendered in the bed, coming with the light and a cloud holds them and the cloud bearing the waters come out of the sea and seeing the things made manifest, the philosophers rejoice. Waters come in and awaken the bodies and the spirits. Although they are again shot in Hades, they little by little come up and put on many glorious colors just like the flowers in spring. I am telling this to you who understand well. Whenever you lift up plants, elements and stones out of their places, they seem very beautiful. And contrarywise they are not, since the fire puts all things to the test. But whenever they put on the glory from the fire and its conspicuous color, then there, there are greatest sights, the hidden splendor, the zealously pursued beauty, and the earthliness transformed into divine whenever they nurse them in the fire. Just as the embryo, nursed by the womb, grows little by little, and when the accustomed month approaches, it is not hindered from coming out. So likewise, it is this admirable craft. Waves and floods wound them one after another he us, And in the tomb, inside which they lie dead. But whenever the tomb is open, this will come up from Hades, just like a baby out of the womb. The philosophers, seeing the beauty like the affectionate mother sees the baby born from her, seek somehow to nurse this craft like a baby with waters instead of milk. For the craft imitates the baby since it also takes shape, like the baby. And whenever it is brought to perfection in all these things, behold the secret that has been sealed. I will tell, far shiningly, where the elements and the plants lie. I will start my speaking in riddles, go into the topmost dwelling, into the bushy mountain in the middle of trees. Behold the rock in the mountain ridge. Take the yellow orpiment from the rock and whiten divinely with sulfur. Look in the middle of the mountain, beneath the orpiment. There lies the orpiment's female counterpart. The orpiment becomes one in her with whom it has pleasure. Nature rejoices in nature. Go down to the Egyptian sea and take from its sand out of the source, the so-called nitro, and unite the components with one another. By uniting all these components in equal measure, natures conquer natures and delight in one another. Behold, wise ones, and understand. Behold the fulfillment of the craft of yoking groom with bride, and then becoming one. Behold the plants and their differences. Behold, I told you all the truth, and I will again say to you, behold and understand that the clouds come up out of the sea, bearing the blessed waters, and they moisten the lands, and let the seeds and the flowers grow. Just so does our cloud, coming out of our element, carrying the divine waters, 
and watering the plants and the elements and needs nothing from other lands. Behold the incredible and entirely unknown secret. The truth has been revealed. Now listen, understand and examine accurately the words with which I speak. Take out of the four elements the topmost and downmost orpiment, both white and red, male and female in equal measure, in order for them to couple with one another. For just as the bird warms and incubates her eggs in heat, so heat and smooth and hand, having carried them out and watered them in the divine waters under the sun and in places for burning in, roast them in a slow fire with maiden's milk and protect them from the smoke and close them in Aedes, and in let them out again, water them with Cilician saffron in the sun, and in places for burning in, roast them in a slow fire with maiden's milk, and protect them from the smoke, and shut them in Hades, and stir them up cautiously, until the preparation has become rather firm, and not escaping the fire. And then, having taken out of them, and when the soul and spirit have been united, and they have become one, then apply it onto the body of silver, and you will have gold, one which the storehouses of kings do not possess. Behold the mystery of the philosophers. Can you at last claim possession of the gold that was given to you? About this our fathers exhorted us, and it should never, it should not be revealed and published. A secret that has divine form and divine action. It is the divine that makes being united divinity divine it is by such means that mortal things attain a soul this is how they receive the spirit coming out of them by being overpowered and overpowering one another for just as the dark spirit the one full of vanity and fainter hardness the one that conquers the bodies so that they do not get whitened and receive the beautiful color which they wear from the craftsman. Awake from Aedes, rise from the tomb, wake up from the darkness, for you have put on spiritualization and divinization. The voice of resurrection has come, and the medicine of life has entered you. The spirit rejoices in the body, he runs hastily in joy to his capture, and her soul rejoices in her house that became divine in correspondence with her. And all were united in love, body and soul and spirit. In their becoming one, the mystery is hidden, for the fire has united and altered them and they have come out of the cavity of his womb. Similarly also out of the womb of the waters and the air serving them. And it has carried them out of the darkness into light, out of grief into joyousness, out of sickness into health, out of death into life and dress them with the divine and spiritual glory which they had not put on before. For them the whole mystery is hidden and the divine unchangeability lies. The fire has been made subject to the water and the earth to the air. And similarly the air is with the fire and the earth with the water and the fire with the earth and the water with the air, and they became one. 
as unity comes about from plants and thick smoke. And behold, the natures have overpowered the natures. The natures have conquered the natures. And because of this, they altered the natures and the bodies and everything from their nature. We have learned this mystery, brothers, from God and our father Comarius, the chief priest. I told you, all fruit hidden from many sages and prophets. Blessed be the womb who carried you. Heavenly body and divine mysteries exist, as I told you. They transform the natures by means of their twisting and alteration and dress them with an unknown and exalted glory which they did not possess before. And the wise man spoke. Tell us the following also, Cleopatra. Why has the mystery of the whirlwind been written in this way? Is the art bodies and are there like a wheel above it as the mystery shows the sky and its running and the axis of the heaven above and the most glorious dwelling places and towers and camps? Philosophers put it well, as it was from the creator and despot of all the pole of the four continues and does not stop. These things were engendered in this Ethiopian land of ours, from where are taken plants and stones and divine bodies, which God has placed, not a man. And in each the Creator inspired the power. One turns pale, the other does not. One is dry, the other is humid. One tends to contain, the other to distinguish. And in their meeting, they conquer one another. One thing makes corporeal in the other, and one gives glory in the other. And they become the one nature that pursues and conquers all natures, and the one itself conquers every nature, that of the fire, that of the earth, and changes all their power, and there, I tell you, the end it reaches. Here the craft of the philosophy is complete.